Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another tech showdown vlog style. So today we're going to be checking out the uh, Tesseract again uh, with the 4100 in it. This one right here. Bam! So this was the garbage one, the one that was found in the rubbish skit. So it has the AMD FX 4100 in it, the uh, uh, quad core there, and we're going to be overclocking it. Because I asked you guys, what should I do with this? And I said, you know, should I try to blow it up? And you guys were like, no, don't do it. You also told me I needed to be more like a vlogger. So I got to talk really, really loud. You know, you got to be really over the top, guys. And you got to hit up that merch, you know, huh? So am I doing better this time? A bit more of a vlogger this time? Okay, that's good. So, uh, yeah, you guys asked me to overclock the 4100 up to 5 gigahertz and then, you know, try it out with some games and stuff like that and see how high it benchmarks with the GTX 1080 Ti. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. You guys are also saying to me, <laughs> why would you put a 1080 Ti in, you know, a motherboard and a CPU <laughs> in a rig that basically you found in the street, a motherboard that you found in the street. And yeah, I know, I like putting the GPUs into things I get off the street, guys. You know what I mean. So uh, let's jump right in then and try out this uh, <laughs> motherboard and CPU again and see if we can get it to overclock. Get that 4100. I reckon we can get up to 5 gigahertz, but let's give it a go. So here is the rubbish skip <laughs> motherboard, a CPU and memory. The memory was actually 8 gigabytes, not 16. Uh, I don't know what was on my mind then. So let's uh, boot this guy up and jump into BIOS and see what we can do. Alright guys, so it took me about 10 minutes to figure out, huh, I can't get into BIOS for some reason. And it was because fastboot is enabled, so we got to clear the uh, CMOS, which is down there. I believe, there we are, clear CMOS. So, we just take this guy right here. Give it a good rub, there we go. Some nice contact between those two. Oh, there we go. And then we turn this on. And we should be able to get into our BIOS now. Hey, Frank. Hi Frank, people wanted to see more of you in the videos. Are you a good cat, Frank? Do you like overclocking, Frank? All right. <laughs> okay, so, we got everything sorted. We're finally getting into BIOS after all the trouble. Uh, it had fast boost enabled, so that was stopping the logo screen coming up here, stopping us from getting into BIOS. So now that all of that is handled, here we are. Alrighty guys. So we are in. And it's been a long time since I've seen a screen like this, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. So, let's go in. Uh, alrighty. Having a look here. Okay, so if we go up, let's start with like a... This is too low. We want to go like times 20 something right that's 4.2 so between 2.5 be 4.5 that looks like a good place to start uh turn this off we don't need performance boost uh, this can all stay memory 1600 that is fine we do want to uh ddr3 1.5 that's fine go down here we want to bump this up uh, plus 50 should be okay for now. Uh, yeah, we might go plus 75, yeah. Plus 75 for now, I mean, that'll be tons for for 4.5, I would imagine. Although, as I said, it has been a while. Nothing we need to do in here. Nope. And in here we... Well, Let's put it extreme. We want it on extreme, that's for sure. Uh, C1E, no, we don't need that. It's like uh, speed step, C6, don't need that. We don't want anything holding us back, guys. We don't want anything holding us back. We don't want cool and quiet. We want to be, we want to be hot and we want to be loud. That's going to be the name of uh, Steve Sex Tape. Hot and loud. Now I love you, Steve. Um, <laughs> All right, and that's looking pretty good for me for just our uh, basic sort of uh, overclock there. Let's do that and see how it works out. Uh, 4.5 should be very achievable. I mean, we're going to go for 5 gigahertz on this 4100 here. 
So we should be just fine to get a 4.5 out of it. I mean, we're going to go all the way up. I think you can go up to maybe like 1.5 volts. We maybe need, you know, maybe get up to... Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going in just fine. Uh, maybe, you know, you could probably go over 1.5 volts if you want. Probably go up to like 1.55. But, uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. But, yeah, this booted into Windows just fine. So before we go in and go higher, let's just make sure it's where we're at. So yeah, 4.5 gigahertz, and those voltages look just fine as well. Yeah, everything else looks just fine to me. So let's go crank it up. Let's do a big jump. Let's try to go for uh, 4.8. All right, so we're back here again, guys. Let's go up to 24. That should be, yep, 4.8. And we'll go add a little bit more voltage there. Yeah, let's bring this up to... Yeah, plus 100. That should be fine. Um, we can always go up a little bit more from there, but but that should that really shouldn't be a problem, I would imagine. So yeah, we can save. Whoa, nope. Save and exit. Yep, there we go. And let's see if that worked. All right, so we have Cinebench running now at uh, 4.8 gigahertz, as you guys can see. So that's pretty good, although that voltage is getting pretty up there that's 1.53 yeah that's getting pretty high we're not going to really want to raise it any more from there uh that will be high enough that's for sure i mean anything over 1.5 volts you start getting into kind of dodgy territory there uh but this should be just fine 4.8 a gigahertz though so see it dropping down a little bit there sometimes there we go dropping down uh, we turned off all the throttling so i'm not sure what's going on there the temperature is quite low 48. For some reason we're seeing it drop down randomly there. So that's not ideal, but uh, let's try to get up to uh, 5 GHz then. So here we are back in BIOS. Let's go in and move this up to 5 GHz there. We don't want to touch the voltage anymore. Now, it was doing Windows Update, so that may have been causing some of the problems, but I also forgot to disable AMD APM, so we want to get rid of that guy. There we go. Um, uh, that's fine. So, that should help, and uh, it could have been the Windows doing updates in the background that could have been making it go funny, but, uh, I think it was the APM, so let's jump in and see if we can do 5 gigahertz. Nope, so it doesn't look like it'll do 5 gigahertz, guys. Let's try to do, uh, uh, 4.9, and that will probably be our dash, I would imagine. Uh, it was good to try, though, but it doesn't look like this one can do it. It's, you know, the stuff is getting pretty old. Maybe people could have got, you know, 5 gigahertz out of it when it was brand new, but it's not looking like it's going to be the case anymore. Nope, doesn't seem to want to do 4.9 either, so it looked like 4.8 was our dash. So, the FX 4100 here, managing uh, 4.8 gigahertz, which is still a good effort there, but, uh, you know... Obviously, we would have liked to have tried to get up to uh, the 5 gigahertz, but that's fine. So here we are back into Windows with it at 4.8 gigahertz. We see it's not going down anymore, even with Prime 95 running. Uh, so that's really good. We said I managed to drop the voltage off a little bit there, but it doesn't seem to want to go down any more from that. Uh, trying to get it down to like 4, what, 1.49, 1.48, it just wasn't happening. It's just, yeah, it's crazy. Um, but it seems to be happy here at 4.8 gigahertz. So let's jump into some games and see how it goes. Here we are in the Fire Strike physics test. I thought this one would be an interesting one. Let's see what it's doing. <laughs> 15. Oh, oh, we saw 16 FPS there. Uh, so yeah, not really ideal, not where we'd like it to be compared to the other ones. And then finally, the uh, combined test here. And this one's always a good one to see. I would imagine, this is on 1080p by the way, just the normal Fire Strike uh, test. I'd imagine this one would also be very low. If we're getting like 15 FPS <laughs> in the physics, then uh, this one will probably be around that I would imagine uh, maybe it'll go a little bit higher it really just depends on uh, the CPU a lot of times alrighty that's not looking the greatest yeah it's pretty much what I thought well it's actually going down really low 9 FPS 
So this isn't looking ideal for the little uh, 4100, but let's try a proper game. Here we have the F1 2017 Monaco uh, benchmark here. Uh, 1080p, everything maxed out. We're seeing actually pretty good FPS. I mean, uh, it's staying over 60, you know, up in the 80. That's that's actually really, really solid. So it's getting just fine with getting by just fine in uh, this one. Well, we went up to 90 there. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it dip below 70 so far. So yeah, it's actually doing a pretty good job. The 4100 here is still seems to hold up uh, somewhat well, considering its age and, you know, what it features. Uh, but let's jump into another game. Hi, my name's Frank, and I get my fluff everywhere so that Kevin has to vacuum the house pretty much every second day. Is that right, Frank? Is that right? Yeah, you know I'm right. Here we are now in Shadow of War, and we're seeing once again, it's saying at about 80 FPS. Uh, it'll probably dip down a bit more coming up to this next part, because there's quite a bit of stuff on the screen. So let's see if it goes down under 60. Oh, it's getting down 70. Uh, I think it should still stay above. Shouldn't really drop down much from here. Uh, so it should be fine. Yeah, wow, so it only dropped to about 70. It's actually pretty impressive that the CPU is still sort of somewhat viable. This is, once again, 1080p, everything maxed out. Yeah, another decent job. And finally, here we are in Deus Ex, a Mankind Divide. This is DirectX 12 on the very high preset, 1080p again. So we check out DX12. Uh, let's see what this guy finishes up at. And... It's done loading. There we go. 50 average, minimum 32, maximum 75. So yeah, this one wasn't really ideal. Um, yeah, should have been a bit better than that. Uh, let's actually, out of curiosity, let's go and switch this over to uh, DirectX 11. Uh, restart the game and redo the benchmark and see how it does then. So a fair bit better there uh, on DX11, so that's good to see. I mean, this would be entirely playable. I mean, the minimum being 44, I mean, that's not ideal. But a 62 average, that's just fine and good enough to get you by. So, uh, yeah, you're going to want to use DX11 rather than the DX12 uh, for the 4100, that's for sure. So that's going to round out this video, guys. The 4100 at 4.8 GHz, yeah, it still does decently. I mean, it'd be good enough to get you by, that's for sure. So let me know what you think of the video down in the comment section down below. Leave a like if you really enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button uh, if you want to show your support for the channel because that's the best way to show support to Tech Showdown is by subscribing. I right, thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.